It is 7.45 right now on Daybreak. This is graduation week for a program that offers opportunity and quite frankly possibly a second chance to a very specific group of people who've been dealing with things like substance abuse and addiction. David Serto is a judge for the Indianapolis Veterans Court. He's kind enough to join us this morning. Uh, what, a couple years into this now, and I still think a lot of folks don't know what Veterans Court is. Let's start with that. What's Veterans Court? Our objective, Scott, is to help veterans who struggled to get back on track. The military does a great job of taking individuals and making them part of a team, but after veterans leave service, they often struggle as individuals. Our goal is to help get them out of the criminal justice system because they know it's not normal for them to be there. It's interesting. We've been on a wartime footing for so long, and we've talked about the issues that veterans face when they come back, uh, difficulties uh, in, in their you know, home lives, mm -hmm. uh, situations where they can't find the job that maybe they're qualified for but can't get linked up to, and, and oftentimes this may lead to things like, like addiction, uh, substance abuse. Uh, what kind of numbers are we talking about? What's this graduation class? And then, and then overall, how many people have been taking advantage of this opportunity? Tomorrow I'm very grateful. We're going to celebrate graduation for 13 veterans, mm. and they've done at least a year in our program, often a year and a half. But our goal is to get them enrolled in treatment and then back on track with things like jobs and housing. Many of them ha are eligible for the services from the Veterans Administration. Mm -hmm. We're excited to get them engaged with that. But Indiana has the fourth largest Army Guard in the country. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to send units abroad. We make a promise as a community we're going to support them when they come home. And Veterans Court, which is a growing movement across the country and in Indiana, helps keep that promise. Talk a little bit about that. Indianapolis has gotten maybe the most notoriety for it, but there are more than a dozen communities. Yes, sir. We're very grateful to follow in the path of the very first Veterans Court that started in Buffalo, New York, Judge Granger down in southern Indiana. But communities across Indiana, with the help of our Supreme Court and our legislature, are taking advantage of the opportunity to help people who have already done hard things do more hard things for their communities and for themselves. And families. Since you've been involved in this, have you learned things about veterans, the challenges they faced, or did you kind of go in knowing everything and it's just kind of <laughs> confirmed that? The great thing about being a dad and a judge is I'm always <laughs> learning. But for us particularly, we've been impressed to see veterans do hard things that sometimes they didn't think they could do. Mm. But we also have learned that the biggest challenge they face, even if it's addiction or substance abuse, if it's mental illness, if they have problems with head injuries, mm. isolation really is a danger to veterans. With more than 20 veterans killing themselves on average mm. across the country, effective interventions that are proven to work really need to be applied sooner rather than later to get veterans the full benefit of what they've earned. Well, tell us about the graduation. Tell us about the ceremony. We're excited tomorrow. We're going to gather at the World War Memorial downtown in the auditorium at 11 o'clock, and the public are invited to join us. But especially if people want to come and see what we're doing, even just say thank you. We'd be delighted to have them. We'll have donuts, of course. <laughs> but what we'd really ask, Scott, is that people who are veterans and are interested in being involved come down and talk with us, either at Veterans Court or at the graduation tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Is it fair to say that the folks who are going through this could really use even just strangers coming down to say thumbs up, good job so far? All of our service members could use that and their families who are here while they're serving. It's a lot harder in the age of confidentiality to know whom to help, but there are lots of ways to do it, whether it's volunteering with Hoosier Veterans Assistance Foundation or volunteering as a mentor with our program. We assign a veteran mentor to each veteran to help reconnect them to the team that made them great and help them achieve, but especially getting them connected up with other members of the community who know what they've been through really helps them accomplish their goals. Good to see good work paying off. We appreciate the time. Good luck with the graduation ceremony and in the years to come with Veterans Court. Thank you very much. Ms. Judd Serto from, from Veterans Court. Learned something there. And yes, Randy, I saw your ears perk up at the possibility of donuts. You are welcome. <laughs>